Neither my wife nor I had ever been to New England north of Boston. So this short trip through some of the numerous coastal towns and harbors is looking very welcoming, not the least of which is the promise of the great seafood along the way. This part of New England has a rich granite cutting and fishing history, where 19th century newly arrived immigrants toiled in its quarries and on schooners in many bays. Rockport is at the northern end of Cape Ann in Sandy Bay in Massachusetts. It has a charming harbor bordering a street named Bearskin Neck, lined with small shops and restaurants. This famous red fishing shack on Bradley Wharf is called Motif Number no. One. And here is the first real glimpse of lobster catching traps, or lobster pots, as they sometimes called. We walk into a dark, narrow shop on the bare skin next street, which sells lobsters. You select the one you like from the aquarium. The owner then cooks the lobster, and you eat it outside at the other end of the shop overlooking the bay. To round the meal off, here is the Helmut Strudel shop nearby. Further north, at the Newcastle Salamandra Point, across the bay on the main side, one can see Portsmouth Naval's shipyard with the castle-looking Portsmouth Naval Prison. The shipyard was commissioned during John Adams' presidency and is currently tasked with the overhaul, repair, and modernization of the Navy submarines, but the prison was closed in 1974. The weather is getting upset, and now just north of the York River at the Hartley Mason Reservation Park, it is getting quite windy and cold. Overlooking the ocean is the York Fisherman Memorial, dedicated to those perished at sea. The inscription reads, O oh, hear us when we cry to thee for those in peril on the sea. Traveling north from the park, we drive through York's beaches. Next stop, Bath, Maine. Here is the downtown's front street with the typical 19th century brick buildings. Nearby is the Chocolate Church Arts Center, converted from the Bath's Central Church, built in 1840s. It does feel like it's made of chocolate. This looks like one of the prettiest harbors of our trip. The weather may finally decide to clear up a bit. This table at the end of the wooden plank run with the view of the harbor is perfect for our seafood lunch. And here is my wife's lobster. driving up the coast of New England. Maine, I don't like the rain in Maine. Other than that, I love the lobsters. Uh, I like the little quaint towns. We think that New England's drivers are the fastest readers in the world. How fast do you have to read to read that many signs while driving? We are on our way to Camden, via Viscasset and the Mariscotta. My wife is planning our next moves, while I'm filming the picturesque Shipscot Harbor Village Resort across the Shipscot River near Viscasset, Maine. And this is the Mariscotta Harbor. Now the sun is really cooperating. Look at this beautiful sky. Camden is really nice. The colors of the boats are asking to be filmed. I'm especially partial to the wonderfully maintained older sailboats 
and cruisers. And here is the Camden Lighthouse. Driving to Bar Harbor was stopping at a town called Stonington. It is on a peninsula squeezed between Penobscot and Jericho Bays. That same afternoon in Bar Harbor, we are following the famous shore path along the mountain desert narrows. Some of the rocks at the shore look like crystallized magma. Whatever it is, it is a beautiful sight. And this one is what the locals call the glacier rock, the rock deposited by the receding glacier. And the cruise ships have found this beautiful historic town. Next morning, we are on the Cadillac Mountain. To the northeast is Bar Harbor, Mountain Desert Narrows, and Cranberry Isles. To the west is the Acadian National Park, an excellent finale for our short trip. <laughs>